upon. There it is in 240 lines. Liquor in a way of touch, but anyway. Should be able to see the stationary line structure. There it is. Right, so now we turn it to 405 line. That one's above, and then swap the source. Right, now it's back in 405 line. Interlaced, so no flicker. about creating memories of her last night in town as she's moving away from home tomorrow. What are you going to do about your washer? Are you going to do your um, washer? No, I don't. Yeah, I was actually thinking I'm going to take my washer table. Right, I'm going to take my Not looking great in terms of points. Jackson leads the way. But look, you've got Cook, you've got Morgan, et al, pretty much, all starting to close that gap against the two race leaders. Moffat letting Sutton through. Moffat pulled over to the left and just let Sutton go through on the right. Slots in behind him. We'll follow him if there are places to be gained. Oliver now getting ever more toey on the tail of Jackson. Shown in turn to lap a go at Brooklands. What can he do as they come out of Luffield? Keep an eye to Turkington as well, because if anything, he's going backwards, not forwards, in that heavier BMW. Maximum weight for Turkington, no weight for Sutton. Over the line, Jackson is hanging on in there. He still leads the way with 10 laps now, 9 laps to go. It's right, there's a close-up of 405 line. If we switch back to 240, then we get that. Right, and finally back to the bed system of 240 lines, 25 frames. that's what creates the bed 240 line system you can program them up to do it
well. Great compensation for Shane Cross, who had to win, had to miss the winner of the ledger in Galileo Chrome, but she's held on well. Indio Girl in second, big run snow forward. Where did that come from in third? And fourth for Dubai Fountain, and the four of them pulled a long way clear. Sabeel Queen on this occasion, Shale was beaten comprehensively by Pretty Gorgeous, maybe a race too far for her, Star of Emirati and Mother Earth never played a hand. Pretty Gorgeous, her form figures, one, two, one, two, and now she's won again, a third win of the season, and a big smile from Shane Cross. In the colours of John Oxley, and gets an immediate quote from the sponsors, Bet365, 12 to 1 for the Guineas, 12 to 1 for the Oats next year, but Jason, this is all about the man on board, isn't it? Shane Cross, the heartbreak of missing out on the ledger now, gets that group one. Yeah, this, um, you know, it was a massive disappointment. He was overjoyed and also was crying, of course, when he missed the St. Ledger ride, but I think the... Last time out, that was 48 days ago in group three, and they've elected to keep him quiet and prepare him specifically for this. 5,000 to 1. He cost 475,000 guineas as a yearling. Beautiful son of Frankel. He was walking as if he was a little bit excited and ready to go and get on with the job in hand. If he settles, that's key, if he does settle, he's a big player at a big price. Now, the team behind this horse, Poetic Flair, know what it takes to win this race. Jim Boulder's trained the winner five times, including with Dawn Approach, who's the sire of Poetic Flair. Kevin Manning, the jockey, five wins as well. But he's only had one start. That was a five furlong Nace Maiden, now up to seven furlongs and Group 1. Lots of questions. St. Mark's Basilica, the Mount. Spectacular work. Well, this is something he has done after winning here. Just on this side you've got Chindit, Devious Company, start to struggle, far side, shake hand and famous colours, goes forward as if he's going to win Al Bashir, but then he's run out of it. And is he is he a horse who just does enough, Francesca? Chindit? Yeah. Well, my only concern watching this back again last night is that he looks very much like a, a good two-year-old. He's three from three as a two-year-old. He looks speedy, he looks compact, he looks uh, 